All right, it is that time once again. The wheel of the zodiac has turned, as it tends to do, and it has entered the Taurus three period of the 48 periods of the zodiac. And so today we shall read the Taurus three period. The days which encompass Taurus three are May 11th through the 18th, and the zodiac position is approximately 20 to 29 degrees Taurus, the central image, the natural, the season is mid-spring, the element is Earth, the quality is fixed, ruler is Venus, the symbol is still the bull, and your mode is still sensation. All right. The Taurus through period takes the natural as its central image. This period can be likened to the time when a fast-maturing child establishes a relationship with society, but also wishes to be him or herself without undue societal demand. The onset of puberty means having to accept new sexual changes which are taking place and attempting to develop a more mature attitude, free from shame and stigma. The days which comprise Taurus III reveal the tremendous release of energy which accompanies late childhood. These changes are not only physical but occur in the fantasy and unconscious world as well. Attraction, inhibition and lack of it, rebellion, mischievousness, and acting out of unconscious wishes all play their part in this activity. Saying goodbye to childhood may indeed be a painful process, and many children feel the need to withdraw when they are so boldly thrust in the world by their natural drives and development. In the Taurus III period, the normally more static nature of Taurus becomes increasingly dynamic, even impulsive, anticipating the energy of the upcoming sign of Gemini. Moving on to the Taurus III personality. Those born in Taurus III value both nature and natural behavior very highly. Yet, paradoxically, they may suffer from inhibitions if they meet with criticism, ostracism, or discouraging attitudes. Taurus Threes are generally highly sensitive individuals who need to be left free to express themselves without fear of censure. Taurus threes tend to be self-taught and generally eschew institutionalized learning. Not only do they learn from experience, but also from the world of nature. In some ways, these free spirits look back to the infant as an ideal of uninhibited self-expression. For this reason, they can be also fond of animals. Often, Taurus threes are uh, kidded for their naivete. They may even be spoken of as primitive in their outlook, when in fact they are actually seeing the most simple and direct means of expression. Most born in this period do prefer to take a path of least resistance, but what they find easy may be quite difficult or even incomprehensible to another. Problems often arise for them when they cannot or will not conform to societal norms. Successful Taurus threes are highly resistant to negative criticism and attempts to bring them down. Those less strong, however, may acquire nervous habits, neurotic behavior, or even grow deeply depressed. Taurus threes frequently have an inborn natural grace. Often others who meet them are impressed by their wholeness and feel they have encountered a total person. However, Taurus threes may not really be as quote-unquote together as they seem. Hidden conflicts and frustrations abound in many born in this period who, as natural as they may seem to be, may be out of touch with their own desires. The more flamboyant of Taurus threes may use their dynamic flair and buoyant personality as a cover-up to hide their insecurities, of which they are painfully aware. Here's some advice, Taurus Threes. Dig deeper and explore the depths of your personality. Try to take matters a bit more seriously if you wish others to do the same in regard to you. On the other hand, never give up your natural and instinctive approach to life. Set your personal standards a bit higher and expect more of yourself. And here's some Taurus Three notables. Martha Graham, Baron von Muchausen, Catherine Hepburn, Jidu Kisna Maturi, Daphne de Marier, Stevie Wonder, Patrice Munsell, George Lucas, Catherine Ann Porter, L. Frank Baum, Deborah Winger, Liberace, 
Uh, let's see, Bridget Nilsson, Dennis Hopper, Margot Fontian, and Frank Capra. And this has been The Secret Lives, or Language of Birthdays, rather. And uh, if you're interested, I have an affiliate link down in the description. This thing, make, this thing makes a great coffee table book, a uh, great icebreaker. You know, it's uh, something that uh, people come in for parties. They're going to liven things up and get people energized. Or maybe bring some people down. Who's to say? But uh, if you're interested, this thing's sold over a million copies for a reason. So uh, head on down to the affiliate link. Give it a click. Support the channel. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, which is the Taurus, a Gemini cusp. All right. Thanks for joining. Hope you have a good one.